Hello and welcome to a short video showing the new chase features in 5.1 of the Savage Worlds rule set for Fantasy Grounds. This is currently available for you to play test in test mode of Fantasy Grounds and will be moved over to live when version 3.39 of the core rule set is released by Smindworks. Today I'm demonstrating chases, linear chases and dogfight chases. I will be doing an example of setting up a foot chase and then we'll do a dogfight chase. The dogfight chase will also highlight the extra functionality being added into vehicles. We won't actually run a chase today. I will just go over the how you set up a chase and the mechanics of how it all works. To begin with, what we'll do is we'll find an image of a forest. We'll load that up and we need to deal out some cards. So all we do is drag a card and pop it onto the map. And the standard chase requirements is, a, is they recommend nine cards. So I'm just going to tell out the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll open the combat tracker and what we'll do is we'll add in a couple of orcs. And we'll put Bob He's two squares ahead of the orcs and make the orcs visible and we'll put the orcs on the map. So in the current version of the rule set, you can run a chase pretty much as here with the cards dealt out and everything. But the problem is when it comes to working out the ranges, if you're working out the range from this orc to Bob, that's 10 inches, which is correct, two range increments. When you come up to this orc here and work it out, it changes it because it's measuring the diagonals. So that isn't technically how chases work. So engage chase mode in, in 5.1 is quite straightforward. On the grid, you set the range increment and then you click the chase button. That turns the map into chase mode. And now it doesn't matter where you move the pointer on this row, it will always measure two range increments. And if we move it out to there, you can now see it all it doesn't matter where the mouse pointer, where the arrow pointer points, it's always 30 inches. And after that, you run a chase as normal. So we'll reset the counter, we'll deal the cards, and you run the chase. You'll make your athletics rolls as it being a foot chase. The characters will do ranged attacks or anything else. Nothing changes there. Uh, what I shall do is I'll keep uh, shuffling the cards until we get a clubs, which of course is a complication. So we've got the orc, he'll do his action. When we get to Bob, you can see he's got the queen of clubs which doesn't matter, but what does affect it is he's on a nine of diamonds. So when you're on a diamond and you have a complication, you have to make a manoeuvre roll at minus two. If we move everyone so they're on club cards and redial again until we get another complication card, uh, it's orc two this time, you can see uh, clubs again, it's a minus two modifier. Uh, if we move them all to hearts, we'll see what happens there. Orc number two again, and this time, it's no penalty on the maneuver action. So as I say, it's basically a standard combat tracker. The trick is to turn on the chase button. So what we'll do now is we'll delete all these tokens. We'll clear everything already off the combat tracker and we'll set up for a dogfight. So we've got a nice cloud map here and it's the same as before. We're just gonna deal out the cards. The difference this time being is you wanna leave two squares between each card. and you want a four by four grid is the recommended. So I'm just setting the cards up, two squares from each. So we enable chase mode, and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll cut, get a couple of vehicles, We'll have an Apache, and the Apache's got Bob as the pilot. And we have the Harrier, which I'm going to leave as the skull. And then we look at the Harrier, you can see the pilot's been set to an orc. Okay, so we'll put, we'll put Bob there. And we'll put the orc down there. And chase mode's on, the range increment we need to set to 25 inches. for. Uh, so we've set up Bob here and we've got the Harrier over here. The last thing we can do, to, because in a dogfight, the squares 
it can you can have multiple cards on the same square if we click on the first card and hold down alt and then right mouse button and say chase card highlights this will put a highlight around each one to make it easy to see who's on what square and then when we measure the distance between bob and the skull it shows 150 inches which is right because what you want in a chase is three increments it should be 50 inches this is a quirk of fancy grounds each of these squares we set as a 25 inch range and in a chase we a dogfight chase we don't want this we want all these squares to be treated as the same range increment and the the, the, the so only a workaround that you can do for this is to take the the distance you're going to have between the, the vehicles and divide it by three and the closest you can get with 25 inches is eight so now you can see it's two range increments or 48 inches yes you're losing a couple of inches but it's the limitation of the way fancy grounds works and uh, it's as i say that's how it's going to be for the time being whether this changes in the future may well be the case but uh, I, I imagine it will take quite a lot of re-engineering how fancy grounds works but other than that the rest of the chase will go the same way so if we uh, deal the cards same as before no problem at all complications and everything else will be calculated normally if i can get a club there we go so you can see bob is in spades so he gets a maneuvering roll as a free action and the orc flying the harrier is on diamond so he has to make a roll as a free action so what we'll do is we'll go back to bob and show off some of the vehicle damage so bob fires a hillfire missile at the harrier And I rolled rather well there. I'm going to modify that damage down to make it shaken. I don't actually want to show the wounds that hasn't changed. But um, this is how it used to work in the earlier versions. If you did enough damage to equal the toughness, the vehicle got shaken. Not that you can shake vehicles and then you'd have to go and make a maneuver check. Fortunately now this is all built in. So if you get a shaken and we hit apply, the vehicle isn't shaken. However, it shows you, you the pilot of the Harrier must make a maneuver roll or go out of control and the table's there and you can roll as normal other than that everything nothing else has changed if you take the damage back and apply it on there you can see that basically five wounds has incapacitated this vehicle and wrecked it i hope you found this informative thank you very much goodbye